Brothers and sisters, it's Wednesday, December the 8th, the great feast of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary. From the moment of her conception, Mary was being prepared to be the mother of the Son of God. And we celebrate that great feast today in her honor. Let us begin as we do all things, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my my mouth shall shall declare your praise. praise. Psalm 98, the Lord comes to rule the earth. Today is the Feast of the Immaculate Conception. The Immaculate Conception is the conception of Mary in her mother, St. Anne's womb. Father Steve Grinnell reminds us, the Immaculate Conception does not mean that Christ's mother did not need a savior or that she somehow saved herself. In fact, it means the opposite. Christ saved her in an extraordinary way and gave her a holiness that she did not achieve for herself. He did this for her, for the sake of her mission, a mission that only she would bear. The gift highlights the extraordinary nature of the mission of the Mother of God. No one would even have the relationship God has to the Blessed Virgin Mary. No one will ever be the mother of God except the Blessed Virgin Mary. This is a really big deal for us. This mission of Mary, this relationship she has with her son is for us. It is all about leading us to him, to be there for us, to advocate for us, to know our hearts in a way that only a mother can. A very important mission, and one that we can and should tap into. There's a lady in my woman's group who shared something that really struck me. She was talking about how she had completed a total consecration of herself to Mary, and shortly after was faced with a really tough situation. A few things, in fact. She shared how she was so overwhelmed that she didn't know what to even pray. She had no idea where to start or what to even ask for. Recalling her recent consecration, she thought something along the lines of, Well, if Mary is my perfect mother, the queen of the universe, the mother of God, certainly she already knows my needs and wants. So with this in mind, she simply approached Mary's throne in prayer and said, You know what I need, Mother. You know the prayers needed to bring grace into these circumstances. I totally just hand it all over to you. She trusted that Mary knew her needs better than she did herself, and that Mary would present to her son exactly what her soul needed. Total surrender total trust in our Blessed Mother's intercession, total consecration. You handle it, Mama. You know the deepest needs of my soul, and you know the promises of our God to make all things new and good. I often think of this when I am too overwhelmed to pray in a traditional sense. I was taught that 
you know, we're supposed to pray very direct prayers and ask for exactly what we need, which I believe has its place. But there's also a lot of beauty and surrender in praying a prayer of trust and praise and just knowing that our mama's got it. She's going to intercede for us in the exact way that we need. Even when we can't find the words to say, and even when we may not even know what it is that we need ourselves. Mary, immaculately conceived, pray for us. Let us pray together the words that our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son, grant, we pray, that as you preserved her from every stain by virtue of the death of your Son, which you foresaw, so through her intercession we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God bless you and your loved ones in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as just a reminder, this is the week that we're uh, talking about tilling the soil in our own lives for uh, the best advent we can have. And just want to encourage that on this feast day, this might be a wonderful opportunity to um, fast from uh, wasting time and maybe use this as an opportunity to pray the rosary or spend a little time just with our Blessed Mother in prayer today for our own spiritual growth in preparation for the great festival of Christmas. In the meantime, take good care of yourself and one another, and we'll see you tomorrow. See you.